I'm starting the April vlog, but it's actually Friday, March 31st. So tomorrow's April 1st. So I'm starting my April vlog now. I am kind of down in the dumps. Um, for those of y'all that are OGs, have been here for a while, you know that I am working through the last leg of this PhD. And the closer I get, I just feel like it's just more and more stress. Um, I got my first three chapters done, which is my proposal. I went through to the International Review Board and they approved my proposal and approved my research. Now I'm in the step where it's data collection. So essentially I'm reaching out to individuals to try to get them to participate in my study. So that was also going pretty decent. It is going pretty decent. I'm only like one week into that and I already have pretty much three or four interviews scheduled. But y'all had so much anxiety all week because my first interview was scheduled for today at, um, so I thought, 11 a.m. But there was a time zone issue and I just feel like, stupid about it you ever like do something and you're like oh i should have been more thorough there and um i did confirm the time zone but i should have reconfirmed because it was one of those like she said she could meet at 11 or 12 on friday and i said perfect here's the meeting invite i scheduled it for 11 um central standard time i was like are you central or are you eastern or are you some other time zone and she was like um I'm Eastern, but it's fine. So I guess in my head, I took it as the way it was scheduled was fine, meaning 11 uh, my time, 12 her time. And then I sent an email this morning to just reconfirm like 11 my time, 12 your time, but she must not have saw it, didn't respond to that. And then all of a sudden at 10.30 my time, I check my email and I see that she's like, hey, where are you? Like our meeting was scheduled. Um, and she was like, hey, like I have another meeting after this, so I won't be able to do it today. And, you know, how about two weeks from now? So she was very nice and it was fine. Um, just like a scheduling conflict type of thing or a scheduling miscommunication. So that just happened. So I'm, it kind of threw off my whole day because I was really anxious about this and ready to get this first one under my belt. So that's that. But I have three more schedules this weekend. So I'll be conducting interviews this weekend and then that's gonna be all. It's really gonna be a low key weekend. My birthday's this month, so that's exciting. So, that's happening, that's April 11th, so pretty exciting. It's gonna be low key. I think I've told y'all, until I get done with school, I have no mental capacity for much of anything else. So, it'll be a fun week, hubby and I took off the whole week. Um, yeah, so. Sorry, my professor just emailed me. That's a whole nother struggle. Anywho, y'all. I'm done blabbering. Welcome to the April vlog. Hopefully the rest of the mood will lighten up after this whole, you know. Hey y'all. It is very dark. How about this? No. Yes, happy Saturday. I am still stressed. I had my first interview today for my research. It went well. Um, so I have to transcribe the whole interview. I transcribed for a few hours and I still have 40 minutes left. So that's stressful. So to take the edge off, hubby and I are going to have a nice little romantic night on the balcony. We've been out here for the last couple hours and it's been really nice. So we're going to make some popcorn, drink some wine. That's going to be all for the day. Happy April 1st. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all soon. Happy Monday, currently working per use, and I'm about to take like my lunch break and conduct interview number two for my research dissertation. So I'm super nervous. Mind you, I don't know these people, right? So it's stressful, it's a little nerve wracking, and I'm just like a nervous kind of gal anyways. Um, something I'm working on, like anxiety and stuff, but I have an interview here shortly and 
has to last a whole hour, so trying to be conversational and all of that. And knock number two out and move on to number three, which is technically scheduled for next week, but I need to try to hunt down two or three more people in between that so that I can get this complete. But happy Monday. I think my husband and I are gonna go do our taxes today after work, and I think that's it. Happy Monday. My interview is complete. It was um, stressful. Again, I had technical difficulties. Somehow my the audio wasn't working. So thank God. I ordered one of these handheld recorders from Amazon last week. Just in case. And thank God I did because we were still able to do the interview just over the phone. I put it on speaker and I was able to record the entire interview for my data collection. So, happy Monday. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I am about to get ready to go to a conference for work. Um, I'm the only one kind of representing our like HR department. So, I'm about to get dressed and head to this conference. And if I can, I'll take y'all along with some of it. It's been a busy week already. I told y'all on Monday I had interviews for the PhD stuff. Yesterday we had a big meeting with like the CFO and SVP and my direct report and someone else. Um, just kind of like a marketing meeting. People were pitching some things to us. So that was interesting and cool to be a part of. And I saw my manager for like the first time in months. We don't see each other ever. And then um, today is this. So let's head out and get to this meeting. The weather's bad, so. Let's do this before I get stuck in traffic. Ready? Simple. Black blazer to go and let's head. Such a busy week, y'all. Um, I think I left off, left off yesterday at that conference. Y'all, I had such a good time. Um, it's always wild to be the young black girl in the room full of the older white males and the professionals, but I've worked really hard to get here. And I also am working hard to open the door for the next group so we can have more of us. But anyways, it was a good conference. Everybody was super kind. And after that, I came home and I had a couple of meetings to conduct. So I did that, got in the bed and took it easy. Now it is about 8.30. I've worked for about an hour and a half and I have to go get my eyes checked. This has been a while since I've gotten glasses. So I'm going to go do that and then head into the office, finish up some things. And then I have another meeting to conduct and then I'll be coming home. So that is what Thursday is looking like. The weather is horrific, but I'm almost at the eye doctor. Horrific weather. It literally feels like Christmas. It's like 46 degrees right now. So I'm definitely listening to Christmas music. Made it to the eye doctor and I'm drenched. I am back from my dinner, my, my eye appointment. Eye health is good. Thank God for that. 
um, yeah, so I picked out my glasses. I was gonna show y'all the ones I was trying on, but I'm pressed for time. And uh, the lady there, she was super helpful. So my glasses should be in in about two weeks. I'm about to brave this treacherous weather and go into the office at work and try to get home, get done and get back home as soon as possible. So as you can see, I'm wet. Um, like I said, it's 46 degrees, it's cold, um, but it's time for all my annuals. I feel like I haven't had my eyes checked in some years because my vision's not terrible. I've always had like 20, 40 um, and it was like 2015 now. So I don't know that, but anywho, I got that one done. Next week is like my well woman checkup and then my dentist appointment, my, you know, time for the cleaning. So let this be a friendly reminder to all of you. If you haven't been to the dentist, if you haven't been to your primary care, or if you haven't uh, gotten your eyes checked, please make sure you do that every year. It's important. Stay healthy, my friends. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Yes, I'm wearing the same dress for Monday. You'll probably see this multiple times throughout the vlog. I bought a bunch of these dresses from Amazon and I love them. Anyways, happy Friday. I'm working and wrapping up my day because I get off at 11 a.m. for a Good Friday. So happy Good Friday. May God bless you all. I hope this weekend is perfect and you are reminded of the blessings of our Lord and that he is risen. So it's going to be a fun weekend. We are, hubby and I have some fun things to do today. And then he and I are off starting at 11 today and we don't go back to work until the following week. So next week is my birthday. I'm not doing a whole bunch, but we're going to be uh, spending time together and movie hopping and gymming and sleeping in and going out to eat. So it's going to be fun. Right now, like I said, I'm wrapping up my work week. It's been such a busy week as you all have seen. I'll be wrapping that up today. And then I have another interview for my dissertation in about 45 minutes. So hence why I'm all glammed up. So wish me luck, let me go get, this will be interview number three. I've got two more lined up for next week and then one that's pending. I really only need probably one or two more after that y'all and then I can start on chapter four and then chapter five should be straightforward and then your girl will be out of school. So send positive vibes my way. Hopefully by the end of this vlog, I will be working on chapter four. <laughs> Talk to y'all soon. Good morning y'all, happy Saturday. I am at orange theory or i'm about to go into orange theory i don't know if y'all remember in my last video i was telling y'all i had like drama with orange theory i'll quickly tell y'all what happened um so essentially as y'all know my mom got sick at the beginning of march so about a month ago but we signed up for orange theory in january the middle of january and so the billing cycle was like the middle of february well i called them in the middle of february and said hey i don't think my mom's gonna want to do it you know like she's like she can go to the gym on her own, Planet Fitness, something like that. Um, this is like a little, you know, it's a little much. So the girl was like, oh, oh my gosh, the billing cycle just ran. Um, and my card was on file for both my mom and myself. So she was like, oh, the billing cycle just ran for like middle of February to middle of March. Um, it was a little bit too late. And that was frustrating because she had told me like, as long as you let us know, um, before I don't know what the date was but I feel like I was in that time but she said you are in that time but the billing cycle is ran now and that money should be coming out of your check at any, or coming out of your account at any point in time so that frustrated me but I was like whatever no no big deal so what the manager said was what I'll do is um, you can utilize those 10 classes she was like we can't switch them between accounts but when you come in either have your mom book it and just like hey it's me instead of my mom or whatever and I'll let that you know I don't want you to lose that you know $115 so absolutely like you're good and I was like okay great so then two three weeks pass and then I'm like uh, let me verify before the next billing cycle hits and asked about to confirm my classes so I get there and then the manager that I was talking to is not there so it's a new manager and I'm like hey um, to one of the sales associates that I've seen there and I let her know she's like oh yeah shouldn't be a problem let me tell the new manager well, she said, go to your class and then we'll talk afterwards. Well, I come out of the class and she's like, hey, just so you know, the new manager said no, like we don't do that here. She's like, but maybe like, let's talk to her when she comes over. So I basically, you know, wait for her to come over. And I was like, there's got to be a misunderstanding. Well, she comes over and I explain it to her and she's just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, we don't do that here. Uh, I'm the new manager and I don't know what the old manager did, but I don't do that here. 
Um, if your mom wants to come in, we can possibly maybe salvage those classes and let her come in, but um, we're not doing the interchangeable thing. We don't switch across profiles. Just like real aggressive and like, I was like, uh what and so just it was just a whole event and then um her and i end up kind of getting like loud and she's like you don't need to talk to me like that and i'm like this is ridiculous like it's really not even about the money anymore it's about the principle like the other manager said it was fine i don't understand why you wouldn't honor that i'm not asking for anything free i've actually paid for two months of class in february and so it was just a mess. And so I left, I reached out to the old manager. She reached out to the owners because the lady was like, well, it stops and ends with me. So you can either take this deal or leave it. So that's why I told y'all last vlog, I now I'm going to different Orange Theory gyms, but um, I didn't love them as much as this one. So I'm going to come back to the original today and see how I feel about it. But um, it was just so disheartening. Um, and the old manager was like stunned and just could not believe that she was like that. And um, again, it wasn't like I was trying to get anything free. I literally paid for two months in the month of February uh, for myself and my mom. And like I told her, I was like, my mom is 65. She was literally in the hospital. She cannot come to these classes. Well, if she wants to come in, she can. I'm like, she's 65. She just got out of the hospital. She's not going to be able to come in and utilize these, these classes. She's like, well, then, you know, then that money's just lost. So it was just, you know, I don't do terrible customer service. So immediately I was like, oh, well, cancel my, my subscription. I'm done. Like, I'm not going to pay to be treated like this. And so, um, but where it's frustrating is I truly love this. Like I, this is a workout that I found that I truly enjoy. I know I'm getting an intense workout and in my hour, like I hit the full body and it's not like, I feel like I need to go to the gym to hit arms one day, back one day, legs one day, you know, like I know I'm getting a full body workout and that's what I need in this season of life. So, um, I obviously won't be coming to this gym long term as we'll probably be moving sometime before the end of the year, but, um, it's just it was just disheartening so that's the backstory on what was going on here that i told y'all or gave y'all a hint about last vlog so it is what it is but i'm gonna go in and get my workout done and pray no drama pops off and i'll see y'all after yeah. this smoothie. Just left orange theory and it went really well hey y'all so mom and i um are at dollar tree to buy things to make easter baskets i probably won't take out through the process i'll post like a uh video i did a video last year showing how i made my niece's easter baskets um but we're gonna attempt all six kids so the three that my brother has and then her uh his girlfriend's kids as well so we're gonna make them all little small baskets so dollar tree you we go they're my birthday cake nothing bunt cakes all the easter baskets are made so this is for my brother's girlfriend's oldest daughter she's 17 so like lashes and makeup and mirrors and girly stuff my baby niece y'all know she's girly so little dollhouse and dolls and candy oldest niece she likes to draw color and a little night light lamp for her okay and then this is for her oldest son i also bought him some cute shoes some loafers that he saw that i bought the my newest nephew so i bought him some loafers i gotta bring those but some water guns and things her baby son he's two he loves cars so i bought him some little race cars and little bitty cars in here and this is for my newest nephew just some little baby socks and stuff so happy resurrection <laughs> hey y'all so happy resurrection i kept it really simple just a black dress and this colorful scarf that y'all have seen before Why you look at me like that, DJ? <laughs> Derek almost hit my head on the ceiling. No, on the floor. He tried to put me right on the floor. Oh, okay. Okay. We're at Top Golf.
Hey, hey y'all. Happy Sunday. It's been days, I think, since I've talked to y'all. We enjoyed our week off. Um, I think y'all saw some of things. He and I went to see two different movies. We went to play top golf. But really what ended up shutting everything down is I ended up with a stomach virus. Um, so on my birth, well, my birthday celebration, which was Sunday, last Sunday with the family, my mom was like saying she didn't feel good. Her stomach was hurting and all the things. Um, and then she was sick, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, when she was just like really sick. And then it didn't hit me until my actual birthday. So on Tuesday, I wasn't quite feeling the best, but I had my, um, my annual checkup and I had interviews for a dissertation. And by the end of all that, my husband and I went to the movies and to dinner for my birthday. Y'all, I literally fell asleep in the movie. Like I almost felt like I got roofied or something. Like I was so exhausted. And then once I woke up from that movie nap, like I, it was pretty much downhill for the rest of the week. So, Long-winded response, but it's Sunday. It's beautiful weather. It's sunny. It's like 69 degrees. So I'm going to go get, well, get my nails done, get me a smoothie and head to the park. I think this is the color I'm gonna get. I'll show y'all when I'm done. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Long time no talk. It is Friday, April 21st. Um, it's about 10.30 in the morning. Great news y'all. I am about to conduct my very last interview for my PhD dissertation research and I'm ecstatic. So that means by the time this weekend is over, all of my data will be collected and transcribed and next week will be the beginning of chapter four i don't know if y'all recall in the beginning of the video i was telling y'all hopefully by the end of this video i have good news and tell y'all i'm working on chapter four it was a long stretch it was a long shot but it happened i made it happen and i'm so grateful but um yeah happy friday a picture of my nails i don't know i don't think i showed y'all after i left the nail salon um, I'm gonna insert a picture so y'all can see the inspo I really wanted but y'all the way she did my toes because she took her own way and did my toes that way I didn't love it so I told her just to paint them solid neon color so that happened and hubby's kind of under the weather as y'all know I was sick last week he's under the weather now so that's unfortunate but he's here resting and I'm just working so happiest of Fridays and if we do anything this weekend I'll take y'all along good morning y'all I'm up and heading to Orange Theory and then to well actually I'm going to lose some candles right now and a few spring things for the apartment and then I'm running into Michael's really quickly. I don't have much time because my workout class starts in like 25 minutes. It's only two minutes away, but still. I didn't really see what I wanted, so I just got a few more candles. Because they're cheap, two for um, $7.99. Hey y'all, fresh out of Orange Theory Madness. And now I'm actually going to get um, lunch because we are heading to the park. My husband has my car, he's taking it to get it detailed. And so I am going to grab the food and then go pick him up from where uh, he has my car and they're gonna detail it and then we'll go to the park and on the way home from the park, we'll pick up the car. So he's got the pup. I look like dad. I like to kind of go and get cute before I do stuff, but it's the park, so it's not that serious. Made it to the park. My favorite place. Got all the food.
subtle spring refresh i bought a new tray i don't know if y'all remember i had a white one but it was staining so much and um with the candle like all the black soot was kind of popping out and staining the white so i bought this one which i feel like fits the aesthetic more of the countertops um so we love that did some straightening up here um that's a major but straighten this up and then same here fresh flowers just keeping it nice and subtle for spring and um i'm loving it that's a little refresh happy sunday to y'all um fresh out of orange theory just showered and about to lay down and take a little nap good morning y'all happy it's actually the afternoon good afternoon y'all happy monday i'm actually um here to pick up my prescription glasses i got the call in and they told me they were ready so i'll show y'all what they look like when i get back in the car and then after that i'm gonna head to the gym and get a quick workout and then back home to finish my work day so happy um monday we are back what do you think about the glasses <clears throat> i love the shape Um, they are Versace, and I love them. Hey, y'all. It's later in the day. I'm picking up my husband. Our car, or his car isn't working, so we have to wait for it to Our current situation, we are praying that it is not something that is crazy to fix. If y'all remember last year, we spent like $5,000 on this car. So just praying that it's nothing like that. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. I'm heading out to go get my nails repainted. Um, I got them done. It's almost been two weeks, but they're too long. Um, so I need to get them cut down. And uh, I'm going to do that now. And then Orange Theory afterwards. And I'm going to take it out long if we get into anything else. Y'all, we have the perfect weather today. It's like in the 50s, but it's also super sunny and super windy. Um, I'll try to see if I can show y'all a clip, it's gorgeous. Um, last night we had a severe storm with like hail and it was actually frightening, like I was terrified. So to wake up to this kind of weather is amazing. So I'm gonna get out of here, it's about 10, 15. My orange theory is in one hour, so I'm gonna see if I can get my nails redone because they're just my natural nails with gel polish, so shouldn't be that long. I was trying to give y'all a little example so y'all can see. I mean, the trees are just, it's a, it's just a beautiful day, a beautiful morning, and it's cold. Um, fun fact, I hate the heat. I think most people, well, I, I'm surprised. A lot of people actually like summer. I hate the summer. But spring, and I'm a spring baby, so spring is my jam. If we could get a real spring, we typically don't get real spring in Texas. It's like coldish, and then it goes straight into like 90 and 100 degrees. But to get this, you know, high 50, 60, 70 degree, cool, breezy weather, sign me up. Hey y'all, back from the nail salon. I don't know if y'all can see it so well. Just a very natural polish and I had to get my nails cut down because it was getting out of hand. So, natural, simple, headed to Orange Theory. Hey friends, I'm back from Orange Theory. I had a litany of things I had planned to do today. And I still might. I just need to come home and lay down first and eat. But I want to show you my coworker bought me a candle. I'm gonna open it and I'll show y'all. Okay, so this is it's a small black owned business. So we're doing an unboxing. Oops. Love this. And Ooh, and it's a nice size. Seventy-two hour burn time. Love it. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, oh y'all, it smells good. I will burn it and let y'all know how I feel about it. But so far, it's looking great. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Um, I just left Smoothie King and got me an acai bowl. And I'm about to actually eat it right here and then um, probably go home and do some meal prep. But that's pretty much it for this vlog. It was very boring, y'all. I'm sorry, there was much going on. Um, 
it just wasn't april was busy but like i didn't record the fun things um i told y'all our car messed up but luckily we got that fixed it was only a few hundred dollars thank god so we got the car back like a day after it broke got my teeth cleaned this week um it's just been a low-key boring week so that's really it i did tell y'all i had to buy some things for my co-worker but i ended up ordering it on amazon so there wasn't much to do um yeah but thank y'all for hanging with me and um i will see y'all in the next vlog which will be in may happy sunday